Hey guys, Coop here. Coming at you today with the new Ultimate Paracord Jig Mini. Now this jig I've had out for a little while. Uh, one of my friends over at Board Paracord, Sean Matthews, he uh, contacted me, wanted to know what we could do about putting out a, a miniature affordable paracord jig. And this is what we've came up with. And so far, the response to this jig have all been very positive. People have really enjoyed it and, uh, and ordered quite a few of them. So I figured I'd bring this video out just to show you guys what the jig is about, how it works, and that it is exactly like the big one. The only difference is you're limited on size. As you can see, it's only an 11 inch jig. You can probably get a 10 and a half inch bracelet out of it. That's the only limitation from this as opposed to the big jig, is just the size. This is more for taking on trips, throwing in your backpack, your duffel bag, you know, and traveling in a car with it, or it, it takes up very little space. Overall length on this jig is only 13 and three quarter inches long. So it's very small, very compact. I wanted to uh, do one like the ruler jig, but the ruler jig to me is just not sturdy enough. And this is made out of the same number one select pine that I use to make my big ones. So therefore it is a sturdy jig. It's not going to fall apart on you. It's, it's well built just like the big ones are. Anyway, guys, let's get on with it. Of course, you'll get your bag with all your uh, parts in it. This jig does not come with the pins for lanyards and keychains and stuff. You don't need them. The hooks that we use with these jigs, you can use to make your keychains and key fobs. And basically, you take the small nut, the small bolt, and the hook. Put the two together. Just put it on there a little bit and feed it right into the hole. Now that's on there. That one's set for right now. You do same thing with the other side. And you feed this one into the hole. Now that's put together almost completed. All you have left is your big bolt. You stick your big bolt in your slide, put your slide right down over the top, make sure it sits on the ruler, put your nut on there. Now your jig is put together. It's ready to use right now. As you can see here, all the buckles up top are the majority of buckles that people use. And these are all the buckles that Board Paracord uses or sells on his site. He doesn't have the 3 8 and he doesn't have the 5 8 but he does have a uh, 3 quarter and a half inch, which here the half inch, I don't have any of the 3 quarter, but the 3 quarter are in between these two. He has the shackles, he has the, uh, uh, the Velcro strap, He's got these buckles here, which I'm not sure what size they are. I think they're three quarter. And then of course he's got the whistle buckles. All the, 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 the number one buckles that people use are right here. Now this jig will accommodate up to a one inch buckle. I don't have any right now, but it will accommodate up to a one inch buckle if you want to use one. But the most common are right here. So we're going to show you how to set it up real fast. It's real easy. You have a male and a female. This is the female. This is the male. The male always goes on the top. Always. And where you have this line that separates the two pieces of buckle right here, you set that line on the top plate with the male part right on the top tighten it down. Now you take this side, which is the female, 
you put it right on the end of the jig. Hold it. Tighten it down. Now, this jig is zeroed. Whatever you set this plate on, that's what size bracelet it's going to make. If you set it on 7 inches, it's going to make a 7 inch bracelet. All you'll need to do is make your bracelet is you'll take the female, snap a female on there, snap a male on here. Now you're ready to weave between the two. When you're done, you pop this off, you pop off the bottom one, your bracelet will come around, snap together. Now I've had a few people asking me about the shackles. Shackles works just as easy. You'll have this shackle here which is a four hole shackle. You'll put it in the hole right next to the last one. The way this jig was designed it was to give you extra length on your bracelet not to give you a, sh a short and a long extra length. Now that you have that set up just like that you'll undo this you'll stick your buckle right in there and you'll place this bottom hole right on the edge of the, the plate. Hold it down with your finger screw it down tight. Now that's ready to go. You'll take another shackle, take the adjuster part off of it, lay it down. You'll take this one and you'll put up in the top one. And what you'll do is you'll rest this bar right on the edge of that line. That's how it's designed to work, guys, just like that. Now you're ready to use shackles and make a bracelet. Now we'll undo these, put these back down here, and you'll do the same thing with the big buckles. The male end, which is the long one, it'll go on top. You'll put it right on the edge of the jig with the line. This part here goes on the edge of the jig here. I usually set it on the edge, hold it with my finger, tighten it down. There, now you're ready to work. You take another buckle, you unhook it, you stick the male in and the female in, you stick the female in on the male in, you're ready to make a bracelet. Guys, the little minis here are exclusively sold on board paracord. I don't even sell them on my website. The only place you can get them, board paracord's website. Uh, all the buckles you see here were sponsored by board paracord to show you that all the buckles that he carries will work with this jig. I appreciate your support. Appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. It means a lot to me. Don't forget if you're interested in a mini jig, get over to Board Paracord. Link for that will be down below. Uh, you guys all know we've got the Facebook page up and going. A link for that along with Google Plus, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, and don't forget Swampville Craftables. Swampville Craftables is a place you can come share all your ideas and everything that you make by hand on Facebook. A link for all that will be down below. You can come over and join us on one of them, all of them, or none of them. It's entirely up to you. And with all that being said, my friends, old Coop's pretty much going to say, Coop out.